Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we are going to tell you how you can use T2 Laser software. This software can be used for laser cutting and laser engraving. It supports and works with GRBL firmware. It will tell you how you can create an image or edit it and send on your frame. Okay, we'll take this ornament, we already have it. We can change its sizes or adjust. Let's make 50 millimeters and uh, we can do anything we want. Once we remove um, this from this checkbox. Okay, next we can change frequency of lines while you do laser engraving fill. The best result we get when we have 0 0.15 millimeters. It's pretty much the size of the laser beam once it's in focus. Here we set up minimum laser power. So minimum laser power means where the laser will not leave any mark. For, ex for example, on metal you have one parameter, on wood you have another one. So you always make, uh, you need to make it like experimental. And for our needs we set up 35 and 100% full power. Then we change the speed of laser engraving. So here we have it. So it's 500 millimeters per minute while the laser is working for raster for bitmap image. So yeah, millimeters millimeters per minute. We can change seven seven. 150 and for this one is for uh, engraving and also while the laser is idle so you can set up the maximum because you don't really you just need to move the laser while it's not working on maximum power but make sure that it's a good speed otherwise you'll have vibrations so 1500 is the best one next we can change fill to so different types you can make vertical or diagonal lines vertical horizontal so all types of that you can maybe make your own like different different types what we have here we have different modes here so this is like fully black and white so you have no grayscale either laser is on or off like a minimum power or maximum power Another mode is with the dots. Here you have the darkest, just uh, different density of white uh, dots. So you can see that those modes are a little bit different. And some some areas will be will have more white dots, so or less. So, but it's done automatically. And usually this works on different 3D printers when you don't have dynamic PWM. And you can have grayscale. Grayscale is the best one, but uh, it doesn't work on many CNC machines. It works with uh, GRBL 1.1H or F, the latest firmware. We can also change the different contrast so here we can change contrast like in Photoshop or in graphical editor so we have different brightness we can also adjust the brightness and we can change gamma so just just in case yeah let's make it lower so we have the black <laughs> that becomes really really black okay so to send this image on your machine, you just need to press this button. It's called Control Laser and generate G-code. And now you can see a G-code. It's very, very convenient. So you may change something or take a look at the G-code or ex export it or save it. We can press View button. And we also will have will have the image of virtually what we'll have at the end. We're using trial version here for demo. Doesn't show you all, <laughs> but 
yeah, once you have a paid version, then you can make a full full image laser engraving. But uh, it's pretty good software. So you also need to set up your COM port here and this button to connect. So it's just simply connect your machine with the software. And this button, we press this button and G code will be sent and you'll see the laser engraving. So thanks for watching, subscribe on our channel, visit our website endurancelasers.com, endurance-lasers.com is our online store, and my email gf at endurancerobots.com and my phone plus 7916-225-432. I'll be more than happy to assist you. Bye-bye.